Oh, welcome to the pre-stream stream. This is where the cool kids hang and the stream itself starts in four minutes today. I'm starting. Uh, it's it's 6.56 rather than 6.55. I'm slacking in my old age. How are we doing, boys and girls? We've got some excitement ahead this evening. We're only managing a new club. Club three of this UK and Ireland edition of non-league station that's quickly going to become a European one. We've added loads of European countries on as well now. Um, the adventure continues. Um, so we are at Sheffield United. I'll show you all around the club in a minute. And um, we've already done some transfer business as well, but we've still got more than £30 million pounds to spend. And um, in addition to that, you'll all be delighted to know that I have my activity feedback. So I can say thank you to Chris for resubbing during the countdown time. And I will actually be able to keep track of what's going on on the stream tonight. If you weren't in last night, I had no activity feed, which if you don't stream yourself, that basically means I don't see when people follow, sub, donate, um do bits cash in any um any stuff like the hydrate and the play and name stuff and i couldn't see any of that if i didn't notice it in the chat as it was happening i didn't have any record of it so that was fun last night but at least we uh at least it's back this evening for how long nobody knows how are we all doing let's have a look to see what's been going on in the chat it appears i missed an interesting end to the stream yesterday so what you get for missing the end of the stream anything can happen anything can happen kev should get the real sheffield united job i'll take it if they want to offer it to me i'll take it as long as i can do it from home i'll do it from this office i'm not traveling i don't need to go to training i can watch the matches on the telly i can do it all from here if they're gonna let me work from home and do it i'll do it um let's have a look loving the board in the usa save excellent glad you're enjoying it most disappointed watching Wimbledon versus Wigan on the second screen and they're called a player Lee Evans. Don't they know it's not that Lee Evans? I think you'll find it would actually be Lee Evans, not that one, as per the official rules. Um, when's Born in the USA being released to viewers? It comes out every day at 4 pm. I know you mean the database, but not yet is the answer to that. Um, hydrate, I will. Did I get my name in the game player? When did you cash in your name in the game player? There's a chance you maybe did or maybe didn't. So I haven't done any today. So if you did it yesterday, you haven't got them yet. But I will sort them last week. What name did you ask for? And we can have a little look. Uh, Nick, thank you very much for the resub. Why does the US database have league names just like the minor league baseball leagues? I don't know. Ask FM Digi. I had nothing to do with it. Um, right. Where is what I'm trying to find? my discord's not working tonight so last night it was stream elements tonight discord it isn't working so i can't actually check the discord and see if there's any name in the game players ready to be done in fact i think my entire gaming pc has crashed bear with me a moment we might have a little bit of a problem <laughs> um don't mind me. This is the advantage of having two PCs on the go. I can't tell if it's Discord or the, just the, or the entire PC. Thank you. To, I can hear people subbing. Gatford and Tillerill, thank you very much for the subs as well. Right, I've managed to get FM back on the screen. So if the if it is on the way to crashing, it's not crashed yet. Right, there you go. Scotty's confirmed. Chris is still on the list. That's not been done yet. It will get done soon. Don't you worry. Um, I can't check the... Um, I can't check the the discord though at the moment because i can't get in there pc is dying it certainly seems that way i need a new one Might buy. should i buy a new pc i kind of need a new pc and a new camera and i don't really want to get both got to decide which one's more urgent pharmaco crazy thank you very much for the sub 10 months lovely 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 scotty's got the list lovely 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 right should we do some football manager i need to bring you up to speed with what's been going on by the way folks um early warning my back is sore again i went shopping again today i went and picked up the shopping again today and carrying shopping up the stairs has retweaked my back it's not as bad as it was but it is achy i'm gonna try and go the full three hours but if it gets achy achy um then you know the drill i might have to disappear a little bit earlier so just be aware that might happen um but i'm all right at the moment i think i'll be okay so the uh the, yeah new club about halfway through last night's stream things were going really well with clyde they're still going really well for clyde um if we have a look to see how clyde are getting on they are still comfortably clear at the top of the championship 10 points clear the one-armed swan is scoring goals for fun um we did scout him last night i don't think he's going to be good enough to come in and play in the english championship 
he'd be our 10th choice striker. So it's probably a little bit unfair on him to rip him away from a promotion and top goal scorer season where he's still scoring at more than a goal a game. So I think we're going to leave the one-armed swan to do his thing up in Scotland. Uh, but meanwhile, we've moved to Sheffield United, um, who were 17th in the championship when I arrived. I've managed four or five games for them now. Um, we, In fact, we took over there. It's four games we've managed. Um, so we've had two wins, two defeats. We're now mid-table-ish, 14th place. We're supposed to finish mid-table this season, so we don't need to have a mad push-up for the playoffs, other than the fact that the club have given me a crazy amount of money. There's a load of money in the bank, £50 million in the bank. Um, I was given a £35 million transfer budget, and we've still got over £30 million of it left after signing Matt Short, one of our Name in the Game channel members. Not a channel member, this is Twitch, not YouTube. Name in the Game people who is called short, but is six foot six, couldn't resist. Um, so he's come in for seven and a half million pounds. Um, he's been playing in Saudi Arabia for the last few years, was originally at Manchester United. Um, he's a former England under 21. In oh no, he, can't, he must be a former England. No, he's not a former England under 21 international. I think Matt asked for an Australian and that's how he got this guy. So he was at Manchester United, then Stoke, and then the Western Sydney Warriors on loan. Then a couple of years in Saudi Arabia, and now he is back in England at Sheffield United, all six foot six of him. I'm expecting Danny Pritchard moments from him. So in a summer where Sheffield United, or in a season where Sheffield United have already spent £57 million, pounds, I'm now going to go and spend a whole lot more. Your Acker. Do I even play this guy who they spent eight and a half million pounds on? Apparently I've I play him sometimes. That feels like a waste of money. We're going to spend... Did they just get relegated? Is that why there's so much money being thrown around? No, they've been in the championship for seven years. Why is there so much money knocking around the club? Is this a... Have we got a, a super rich chairman? No, it's just a consortium. I don't know why there's so much money in Sheffield United, but there is. They've been spending for fun. They must have sold someone expensive last summer. Polar, Polar NQ, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's why £92 million pounds were for player sales last season. They must have had an absolute superstar. Unless they've just sold, gutted their entire team. It doesn't look like there was a £27 million pound player who left. But, yeah, by and large, it just looks like huge transfer turnover every season. This is the championship, folks. This is some crazy business for a team that's been in the championship for as long as they have. This is like Kev management, but without any of the success. Nuts! Right, let's um, let's go and spend some more money for them then, I guess. Um, there's obviously just too much money floating around in England, so we're playing Rotherham in a few days. The team itself, the squad, looks pretty decent. There's not anything that obviously stands out as must upgrade this area. We could maybe do with a centre-back. In fact, the whole defence and goalkeeper is probably weaker in the attacking positions so we could probably look back there before we look in the more attacking areas but i'm kind of inclined to just search for under 23 players who are bargains who've got stacks of potential but can also come in and change the team immediately <laughs> i'm not asking for much so we don't want to just just buy all the strikers but like this guy is 22 he's a left back who can also play center back or right back He's at Blackburn. He's better than the left back we've already got. Who is also young though and pretty good. So we probably don't need to go and spend a whole load of cash on another left back. Hmm. We've got, this is going to be this is going to be a tricky one. We're, because they're not my team and we've got so much money to spend. It's difficult to know actually what to spend it on. But I don't want to not spend it because. That will send me insane. Right, Ferdy Wassenaar. He's a centre-back who can play anywhere up the middle. He's Dutch, which means he must be good. Because all Dutch players are good at football. Um, he's way... Well, see, the problem is he's way, way down the list of... Um, he wouldn't get in the team at the moment. It's tricky. Chat seems very busy. What's going on in the chat? Um, people talking about the Born in the USA database. Um, it'll be out soon. 
don't worry it'll be out soon is the prince prince still in charge what, what prince um there you go. as emily says the fm digi database is on steam so unless you want to play as born particularly if you just want to play on that us database you can just download the us database it doesn't have to be the born version did we ask the director of football for players last night i don't remember if we did or not feels like something we should have done let's get a list of players to go and scout this always seems like a sensible course of action i feel like i have done this this is all feeling very familiar but then i have done it thousands of times over the years so that might be why it feels familiar but we'll no, there's no harm can be done from getting another bunch of players to have a look at i certainly don't think we need to go out and spend money on old men we'll just wait and see if the right player appears right we've got uh register the what's it i'm assuming this prince guy is the chairman or the owner of sheffield united it's not him because we just had a look and saw that they'd been taken over by a consortium so no it's not a pro i mean the new guy might be a prince too i don't know i haven't checked his id should i be checking his id should i have checked that before taking the job i really enjoy him born have to wonder if kev is paying his star player is 44 i mean i signed him i always sign old men in tier 10 that's my thing at that level there's no point signing potential i only sign potential a little bit later on when there's a chance of you selling them on and getting some money for them or them coming up through the leagues with you when they're in an amateur contract they can leave at any time just get the best players it doesn't matter how old they are i don't even look at their age that's why we've got a 15 year old goalkeeper and a 44 year old in midfield Take it you didn't look into the climate of new england before you placed born there it's going to be cold up there most of the year i mean believe it or not i'm not actually going to physically be there it's just a video game um, and also i didn't place born there born is already there kev has to have at least one player per fm who's older than him exactly it's going to get trickier the, the further into it we get what's the oldest player i've ever had i mean old man asensio is probably not far off julian joe Chim last year i think he was 44 as well james hater was probably in his mid 40s wasn't he um right who is rob knight do we care he's got potential but he's the ninth best central midfielder at the club so to answer my previous question at the moment we don't care who he is he can go out on loan if he wants to go out on loan he can go out on loan is he on the loan list he's on the loan list so let's offer him out for loan get him out of the way and make room for all of this fresh talent that's about to come into the club that's the plan i had a 46 year old assistant player coach that's awesome maybe i'm available for loan maybe you are but if you don't come up on the scout report what you gonna do right I would like a centre back, but I don't want to pay twenty two million pounds for one. So let's see I'm leaning towards this guy. How good a centre back is he? Just play him as a normal centre back. What can he do? He's not very aggressive. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't like aggression. Aggression usually is an indicator for stupidity. Hmm. Neil Hughes wants a new contract at Reading. Well, he's not a centre back. I don't like any of these. He's five foot ten. That's not necessarily a big deal. We've got a six foot six striker. You only need a big centre back so you've got someone to send forward at corners. We've got a six foot six striker to take care of the corners for us. I always used to grab Shilton as my third goalkeeper and goalkeeping coach and championship manager into his fifties. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, Big Mike wants me to check his player. What's your player called, Big Mike? And well, then I can. Need to know what his name is, though. Slatan's back in the Sweden squad at 39. He's no old man Atencio, though, is he? Who I found on LinkedIn. He's a lecturer at the University of California. player is called big mike is he how did that how did i let that slip through 
normally I assist on actual names. Um, he's quite good, isn't he? My word. He's quite good. Probably not going to get him on loan, are we? But he looks all right. Banging in the goals. Can we have him on loan, please? No. Didn't think so. Serge Mac, thank you very much for the sub. Need to get him on the channel. Maybe we shall. Maybe we shall try. Or maybe the fact that I've outed him on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and now Twitch means that uh, he'll hate me forever. Did you let him know his nickname? And he says, I haven't spoken to him. I just found him. He's a lecturer at university. I assume he's letting you sleep on his sofa. Problem is, he's a lecturer in California, which I'm no, uh, I'm, I'm no geography expert, but I think California is quite far away from, um, from Massachusetts. Just from looking at a map, I think it's quite a long way. It'd probably be just as easy for me to commute from where I live now. <laughs> which, which is the quickest? Which gets you to born Massachusetts quicker? California or the, or the Midlands in England? It's about the same, I imagine. It's probably not. I have no concept of how big America is or how long it takes to get from one side to the other. Probably not eight hours. Does he have any videos on Skillshare? I don't know, does he? 50 hours. I don't think either of them are going to take 50 hours unless we're walking or swimming. I didn't out him on YouTube. I haven't told people. All I've done is... I mean, he's in the Football Manager database. I can show his Football Manager profile. But showing his LinkedIn profile. Are the Baltimore Colts in my league? Oh, he's talking to FM Digi. That makes sense. Seven hours from the UK, four from LA to Boston. Bottom line, neither of them particularly commutable. So I'm not going to go and live with old man Atencio. But maybe that's the answer. Maybe if I can't find anywhere to live in Massachusetts, maybe I'll just fly over every day. Or once a week for the matches. I don't need to be there. I don't need to be there for the training and stuff. Right, come on, gentlemen. Let's do a football. Rent a villa in Cape Cod. With what money? I'm on an amateur contract. Did you get an igloo on Greenland? Must be halfway-ish. That's a very good idea. I'll look into it. Told you, Kev, crash at the YMCA. That doesn't sound like a lot of fun. I feel like I'm not going to have my uh, my space for all my toys and stuff at the YMCA. Generic position FM. Thank you very much for the sub. I was supposed to take Larios off at halftime, wasn't I? I've broken him. Now we do need a left back. At least it means I can go and get that left back now. Now I've broken him. Right, where is it? Where's Short? Oh, he's injured, isn't he? Wanted to get Tall Short on. But it's a little bit soon for him to be playing for us just yet. YMCA does have a ton of chairs. Interesting. Very interesting. Did I just make a triple substitution after an hour? Whoops. As you're not taking training, you could lecture at the local university on top of some free housing in dorms. That's a very good idea. I mean, that's going to be ultimately where we have to go. I need a job. I'm, I'm managing... I'm managing the team very part-time. I'm, I'm on an amateur contract. I'm getting no money. I need to go and get a job. Simple. I would seriously reach out to this Atencio guy and just let him know he's in your game. He might not care, but I think it's fair enough he has that option. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I don't feel the need to go and do it one way or the other. Um, but if, if I think there's a possibility he might want to be involved in a video, then I might reach out to him. I'm not going to reach out to every person I ever signed in Football Manager. That would be madness. Plus, he might have a real thing about the fact he's getting old and might not appreciate his nickname. So there's always that fear. Maybe try getting hired to sell tickets for the games. That's a good idea. 
manage a local Hooters or Applebee's. I don't think I'm cut out for the service industry. I don't really like doing things for people. <laughs> I need um, I need somewhere where I can just sit around making YouTube videos. That's that's nice, easy work. Or teaching. Teaching's even easier than that. Right, Liam Kitching. He's not good enough. This is why this club is still stuck in the championship. They've spent £4.2 million on a 28-year-old who's nowhere near as good as the players that are already here. I mean, where's what's the thought process behind signing this joker? No, you're not having him. You can just get him out of here permanently. We don't want him. Get him gone. Right, keep checking in on these boys. I'm, I feel like I'm already getting, um, I'm getting stage fright over spending this money. Right, Ruben Sa, wanted by Fulham. We don't really need another left back, but he is very good, so we want him. He's better than the one we've already got. We've got to go for him. We're going to go for him because we just want the best players. So, asking price of 4 million, we'll just throw the 4 million at him. That's easily done. Don't know if we'll get a work permit for him. So, we definitely don't need this guy if we're getting this guy, because they're both left backs. He's nice and cheap, which I like. These guys are starting to get a bit more expensive. We don't need another attacker. What I'd like is a centre-back, a really good central midfielder, and maybe a goalkeeper. Um... I'm not going to sign someone called Giving Cum. Um, it's not much in the way of centre backs. Goalkeepers? No. This is where limiting myself to under 23s might be a problem. We'll just wait for the right man to show up. I'm saving myself. I'm waiting for the right guy. Who redeemed, rename a youth player? Who's... Oh, it doesn't matter to me. It can just be added to the Discord. <laughs> he realises. Right, let's get all this off. And hopefully bring in my second player. Of the window. Yes. That's fine. We'll just do that. It's only Kyle. Oh, it's only Kyle. It's only Kyle. I'm not Kyle. I'm not going to worry about it. Right, we didn't actually try and sign Big Mike. Dante Casanova. He's also not going to be good enough. It's very sad that all the heroes of the last several years aren't going to be good enough. The lead centre back looked good. What lead centre back? This guy, Gareth Crichton. Oh, he's six foot four. He does look good. But they don't want to sell him. That's why I ignored him. Because if they don't want to sell him, he's going to be crazy expensive. A high fee may be required. How much is a high fee? If we make an inquiry. like I could have just added my name to the Discord without redeeming. Yeah, but the other mods would have kept you honest. He's on the loan list. We don't want to be loaning players. <coughs> We've got £30 million to spend. We're going to sign players permanently. And they're going to like it. Right, no one wants the kitchen. Get out of here. Just threaten him let's get angry with him get out of here liam guess we have to transfer list him then sorted right mccormick we don't want to sell we're recalling players from loans i can get on board with that short is back in training leeds have got no interest in selling us Crichton. Ah! okay we're not gonna get him 
That's why I don't mess around with players that clubs have no interest in selling. It's just too much faffing around. There's always players that clubs do want to sell. They're the ones we take. Is he an actual central midfielder? No. Don't need another attacking midfielder. A defensive midfielder who can sort of play central midfield or right back. That's not much use to us either, is it? We'll just continue waiting. It's fine. Foster check and hydrate. What club did I start with on this save? Clanethley. Although we actually started unemployed. Clanethley's the one we went to first. Any advice for getting my striker to stop skipping games, practice for his nightclub? Just get rid of him. He's not got the right attitude. Bin him off. There's a loan with future buy trick. Not interested them. I ain't doing tricks. The game's too easy as it is. I don't need to glitch it. Right. Come along then. Give everybody a little tickle. And hopefully Short is going to be fit enough to play. So easy people sell tactics behind a paywall. People are dumb enough to pay for stuff that you don't really need. I'm never going to begrudge somebody making money off of their creations. I remember a few years ago, there was a lot of fuss within the football manager community about people trying to sell tactics and stuff. And it's just like, so what? If if you want it and they've got it and you're willing to... If someone's willing to pay for it and someone else has got it and is willing to sell it, what harm is it doing you if... I don't get it. Never really understood that attitude that some people have. It's just jealousy, isn't it? Someone's making someone's making money off of my hobby. I'm jealous. It shouldn't be allowed. It's a weird attitude that some people have. How are you, Kev? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. I am doing well and staying safe. Thank you very much. I have no problem with it either. Just undercuts the too easy argument. I mean, it is too easy. There's just some people out there who are really dumb, though. <laughs> it's just one of those things. Some people... You just have to put in a little bit of time and effort to learn the game. It's not hard. Right, we'd like a win in this football match, please. At the very least, we're going to get short tall mat to come on did a football did the stream go then what 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 does that mean oh did it go down no the stream should be still up and running i think look at this we did a football this might be the problem with getting our new short tall man in the team because the striker we've got is pretty good it's a big problem Okay, if I won League One with not playing a Route One system, defensive. We'll never know whether it was the word defensive or the ridiculous word you followed it with that caused me to just stop that sentence. <sighs> People live to 80 by smoking. People live to 80 smoking 20 a day. Smoking cigarettes works. You need a bigger sample size than I once won the League with none. Yeah, okay. We're a good football team all of a sudden. How good are Blackburn? Blackburn are. Oh, let's see if long throws work now. Oh dear. I have quite. Basically, half of tomorrow's home episode is me playing around with long throws. Because if you haven't seen on the winter update, long throws have supposedly been nerfed. They're not quite as effective, but they're still pretty effective if you have the right player taking them it's 
spoilers. I'm sorry. There's long throws in tomorrow's home episode. Spoilers. I scored from a long throw in my first match after the update. It just wasn't a looping one. <laughs> They said that in the last update about long throws. Yeah, they often say the long long throws won't work anymore. It'll just need a little tweak. I'll, I'll have it figured out before the showdown. Don't you worry. Okay, have a look at staff chat on Discord. Can't can't get on Discord at the moment. I'll have to have a look after the stream. Loving the game, still learning. I'd love to see how you go about scouting and signing a player. Um, that's what's happening in this stream. So just keep watching. Need to ask care if I'm a Rangers fan. How are you finding cam camera in FM? I think he's rather good at football. I uh, don't know. Didn't know he was here until I just saw he was here and he's leaving. So I don't think I spend much time with him. Although he's almost scored us a goal there. Spoiler alert. Goals in the next episode. Multiple from long throws as well. <laughs> long throw city, boys and girls. We've thrown away a two-goal lead here, which is a little irresponsible. Right, come on. I think this is all setting itself up for Matt Tall Short to come on. Come on, boys. Let's do a football. Ooh, we did almost do a football. Come on. Come on. I guess instead of life finds a way, it's Kev finds a way to long throw. I mean, long throws are beautiful. They're one of the great beautiful things about football. They're like corners. They're like free kicks. Why would you not want to score from one of the world's great set pieces? We love a long throw. Here's another attempt at one. I don't know how good Livramento is at doing it because that's the thing apparently the change is it now depends on the long throw attribute of the player taking them so if we've got someone who's got a good long throw attribute which i probably should be looking at um in fact it'll be on here won't it so if we have a look for long throws so yeah if Livramento of his 13 is taking them then they're probably going to be quite effective because 13 pretty decent Right, we are going to bring Short on. And we're going to bring him on for Angulo. And we're going to go to two up top. Come on, big boy. <laughs> on he comes. Complete forward. Of course he's a complete forward. And we need to get him involved in all of the set pieces. Um, so, corners. Where is he? There he is, look. Get him right in the mix. And let's see what happens. I've just done a triple substitution on the hour again. That's twice this evening already. Let's encourage. Are you doing your own training for individual team? No, don't do my own training. No need. The game does it so beautifully. There's no need to get involved. We didn't get a single look at short there, which is very sad. What level do you consider a good long throw stat? I mean, anything that's good for the level you're at, I guess. I mean, it'll be a bit of trial and error. What I do need to do is find someone who's good at long throws for the showdown. Does Joe Throwmez take a good long throw? Ah, see, we've not got his stat. We need to, we need to scout Joe Gomez, who, what is he doing there? This is, the, this is the right guy, right? I don't think that's the career trajectory he expected. Oh, 
poor old Joe Thromez. Immediately couldn't get in the Liverpool team. Then went to Burnley and couldn't get in their team. And then went to the Scot to the French second division. Wow. That'll do it. And again there, and again there. So he's had damaged cruciate ligaments six times in his career. Oof. Just that guy. Thank you very much for the prime sub. Yeah, that'll... Uh... I mean, I'm surprised he's still going. That's... Five times in five years, he's had damaged cruciate ligaments and somehow has come back to play regularly at the age of 30. Posh have scored. Excellent. Who scored? Is he able to walk? I mean, I'm very impressed. But yeah, he uh, it's not quite the career we would have expected. It was an own goal. Probably done a cruciate in a replacement knee. <laughs> oh, dear. Surprised he's not watching it. What, the posh, posh game? If I watched every posh game, I'd have to have a night off streaming every week. And then I wouldn't be able to afford to buy the posh game. So, you know, you gotta you got to balance these things out. Hydrate. I shall. Posture check. I have it on my phone on, my, on the desk. I'm not watching a football match on my phone. I'm not going to spend £10 to watch a football match on my phone. Da, da. I feel like I should probably tweet that Joe Gomez out. That's the sort of thing that people on Twitter will have conversations about and I can pretend I know about football. Um... So, let's take these. Where's Twitter? Twitter. Twit, 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 Twitter. What is going on? Why is my computer not working? I think my keyboard needs charging, but I only charged it the other day. Right, so there's that one. But what is going on with my keyboard? My keyboard has been plugged in for days and somehow is still not working. Don't mind me, folks. I'm just having technical difficulties. Right. Helps if you turn it on. So, there's that. And then we also need his injury record. Poor Joe Gomez. Right. Why can't... Right, there is something going on with this computer. I was having issues with it pre-stream. It is giving me problems. Oh, a new wrestling figure. Already got several Kenny Omegas. Don't need another one. I'll get it, probably. Right, let's keep waiting. Sure, it wasn't long ago. People were laughing at you saying Posh weren't getting promoted. Then, what, get looking around. Could be wrong. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you mean. What are you saying? I, I lost. I got lost in that sentence part way through. I think. Right, let's keep checking in on players. So we're signing that guy. Hopefully, we're doing a work permit for him now. We don't need another attacker. And we don't want to spend more than 10 million pounds on someone either. 
Twitch link. Yeah, people will figure it out. They know where to find me on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, it's even more injury prone than Michael Beagles. Oh, my watch is vibrating again. Hartley Pool have just equalized against Kings Lynn. That's why. Probably need to take Kings Lynn goal alerts off of my watch. Right, if you want him, you're paying all of his salary. It's as simple as that. Fine. You can have him then. What team am I at? Sheffield United. Good old Sheffield United. We've got money burning a hole in our pockets and I don't know I don't have the first idea what to do with it because the squad's pretty good and I don't really understand how it's so far down the table Lincoln a 2-0 down at home to Steve Evans that's a shame right who's this guy Jurian Timber probably want to keep him because he's Dutch which means he's good at football but he was a good signing free transfer from Ajax. No, we're not interested in selling him. Ruben Saar is coming in. My second signing of the summer. Keep saying you're going to take the goal alerts off. Yeah, you know I'm never going to. Oh. Well. Is there a way to find out which scout did the report for him? What the hell is this? He's apparently still the best left back at, back at the club. I don't... I don't know what's going on. Do I do any planning which players to buy or just buy? I just buy. I know roughly what I want most of the time. This transfer window, in all seriousness, this transfer window... I genuinely don't think we need anything, but we've got 30 million pounds to spend. So I may as well spend it because it's not going to roll over. They're giving me another 32 million next season. So I may as well just spend this money now on Wonder Kids and then spend properly in the summer once I know more about this team. I've only managed them for five games. So I don't really know enough about them to know what we need. So... For the time being, it's very much a case of just buying stuff. Buying anything shiny that I like the look of. Try and get a trying to get a nice even balance of of positions brought in. I don't want to know who's judging him now he's at the club. I want to know who scouted him before so I can sack the scout. All three of my decent centre backs are called Campbell. Makes rotation interesting. That's awesome. Analysis. Maybe there's some gaps. I mean, there's not really. That's the thing. If we have a look at what we've got, we can look at the squad depth. We can look at. I mean, I'm not going to go and sign a player because he's. I don't know. What have we got? I'm not going to sign someone because. They've got more jumping reach. I'm not going to go and do that. We signed a six foot six player anyway. By and large, it's, I mean, it's, we've got a good side, a very good side. We're just going to bring in players as we like the look of them. It'll be fine. Because the other thing is we don't have to sign, we don't have to spend all the money now. As long as we've agreed the transfers before the end of the season, it'll come out of this season's budget. So if we don't find enough players to splurge on now, we'll just splurge. We'll carry on splurging until May. And as long as we've spent the money by May, we get more money in the summer. Dave's head just fit perfectly in the Nord symbol. Brilliant. Utterly brilliant. Right, Neil Hughes. I keep looking at him. He'd be the sixth best striker. Probably not worth uh, spending £10 million on. I'm just going to keep coming back to the screen, though. Right, Nahuel Goyke. Yep, this guy. He'd be the 11th best midfielder at the club. So I want players who can come in and make a difference now. 
but at the same time i want them to be young and have potential i'm not asking for much Brentford. Brentford, remember, the team that turned me down earlier in the season. Kevy five times wasn't good enough for Brentford, apparently. I'm now slumming it at Sheffield United. Been gone for about 15 minutes, what's happened? Not a lot, really. I had another couple of sips of coffee. Uh, we signed a left back. That's about it. Pretty standard Kev things. Patrick Southam, who you have, is my head researcher at FM. Nice. Over to 22nd. Ouch, that hurts. It's fun. It makes me feel happy because they turned me down. How's the back tonight? It's a little sore tonight. I did. I went and got the shopping again today, which is how I injured it last week. And it's aching a little bit again now. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing a full stream. If I do do a full stream, here, <laughs> do do. I'm going to be doing stand up breaks. When my watch tells me to stand up in eight minutes, I want to stand up for a minute. This is why I need a standing desk. So I could just stream standing up. If I could do the whole stream standing up, that would be infinitely better than sitting in a chair i spend too much of my day sitting in a chair right short is on the bench but still not fully fit sar's going to come and make his debut though which is nice hopefully he ends up as good as my scout thought he was rather than as good as my goalkeeping coach thinks he is david moyes just came for my applicants for scout he's a poor judge of talent fm nailed it right excellent doing stand up have you got a joke already brilliant I don't need jokes. I have my natural wit and good looks to keep me to keep me from bombing out on stage. I'll be fine. <laughs> boom, boom, ba -dum, boom. Right, come on, we'll have a goal here. This is why we need our our big boy on. We're the ones in the other we're the ones in the other colour kit, aren't we? Or are we? No, that's is that Terrell Whitaker? It's not, it's Morgan Whitaker. Which ones are we? We're the green ones, aren't we? It was us taking the corner before. I thought it was. Right, long throw again. No. Pathetic from Livramento. Need a stand-up check. Yeah, but I'm not going to stand up every five minutes like I have to do with everything else. Standing up once an hour and doing a posture check every five minutes is fine. How am I tonight? I'm doing all right. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. We've left uh, not very much back defensively here. But luckily, we're very good. I think we're going to go up through the playoffs this year. Did I hire all the staff last night? There certainly were some staff hired. Um, we've got an assistant manager and the director of football is taking care of everything else. I think. I know we signed a few. I think at this point I'm just leaving it to the director of football to do the rest. Kings Lynn have just scored everybody. It's 2-1 to Kings Lynn against Hartlepool. Exciting times. Right. Come on. We'll, we'll have a goal here. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was easier to score than miss. Oh, look at Nick. He's starting his message with something that knows the rest of the message won't get read. You can't start your message with defensive nonsense. I'll start playing more defensively when I stop winning everything all the time. Because clearly my way works. Your background music is so depressing. I mean, you don't have to listen to it. You can just turn the volume off and just guess what words I'm saying. If you're easily depressed by music. Fullbacks. Yeah, exactly. Fullbacks are just extra wingers. That's all they're there for. How was swing ball today? How do you know I played swing ball today? I like swing ball. Back to Scotland to dominate with Rangers or Celtic next. Absolutely zero chance of me ever doing that, if that's what you're suggesting. I could live a thousand years and never manage Rangers or Celtic. I, re I Dealing with the chat is a challenge at the best of times. Because you're all monsters. Oh, but can you imagine what it would be like if I was managing Rangers or Celtic? The amount of wangs who'd turn up just to be wangs. Dun, 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 dun. Come on now. Oh, 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 oh. 
No. Right, it's time for Tall Short. Come on. On you come again. In fact, I'm going to play him up front on his own. I'm not going to change the system. Just going to come on for him. He's going to be there as a complete forward on attack. Because that way we can shuffle the rest of them around. And get other attacking options on as well. And we just need to make sure that we have the big guy positioned correctly for set pieces. We weren't in shorts and suit in today's spring ball. Very sad. It's because I didn't know I was being filmed or photographed or whatever Anna's been doing. I wasn't posing for it. Shorts just headed over the bar. I don't wear a, sh a suit all the all day, you know. I wear the suit to make the videos and do the streams. I have a suit on for, like, on a stream day, four hours. On a non-stream day, less than an hour. It comes off immediately. I just sit here shirtless. Nothing but underpants. Oh, we can't lose against this lot. More. Maybe we do need some players. Maybe we just need lots of players. Oh. We need to stop being rubbish. Where's my can of Coke? This will make me feel better. That's what I'm looking for from short. Danny Pritchardness. Lovely flick-ons. Come on, boys and girls. We're going to have to encourage in a moment. You may say it's not pronounced encourage. But if you ch changed the C for a T, you'd say entourage. So it's encourage. See? Language with Kev. That's an English lesson for you all. You've got to pick it one way or the other. It's encourage or encourage. Well, this has been a disappointing performance. Skip. More. Short's a disappointment. We might have to get rid of him. He's been a flop. He needs to score immediately. Oh, oh, oh. Did you do a video on how to start a ball and save all the downloads you need? Um, pro probably not, because I think it would be a pretty boring video, because it's pretty easy to do. Once I, re once I release the uh, bits and bobs later in the week, it's really simple. If you've ever played a custom database before, it's literally just, you don't, you don't need a video explaining how to do it. Or if you do, there's loads of people who've already made such a video. Come along. That has not been a good game. I am not happy with your performance out there. <laughs> Sometimes I forget the um I forget some of the commands we've got set up. I love that one. If you want to mod your game, go and watch Work the Space. Brilliant. We've made it five without a win. That's not good form all of a sudden, is it? Ooh, that's ever since our new assistant manager came in. We need new players. Pronto. Kevin Timlin. Maybe you're the man. Maybe you're the answer to all our problems. Oh, hello. It's a player called Wang. I'm having him. We're having a bit of wang. Da, 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 da. 
So whoever it was who was, before, was asking before about how I select players, ninety-five percent of the time, if they've got a silly, if they've got a silly name, that that gets the most of the way there. Stephen Davidson was mentioned before. No, he's not good enough. Surely you have to sign come to go with Wang. I don't understand. Oh, my back hurts. Posture check, but it hurts. One of my best Brazilian Wonder Kids ever was called Dude. That's a great name. We'll become a regular starter when there's room in the team. What? I've not seen this before. He's not going to start ahead of him. Oh, fine, I'll leave it on there. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we get our wang. Right, Joe Thromez. Do we get to see his long throw stat now? Still no. Scout him again. Should we bring Equa Olympian? How have you done the US save and how are you in the temp division? I am baffled. Magic and a lot of help from FM Digi. Did you ever carry on seeing if you had autism um i haven't because the nhs have been busy for a little while and i've now moved to a different area so when the nhs aren't as busy and they can afford to do something that's not really needed um i'll pop along to my new gp and start the process again although it, depending on where you read and who you ask in some areas they don't they don't diagnose diagnose adults unless it is detrimental to their quality of life. So basically, they don't diagnose you unless you need a diagnosis to claim benefits, I guess. I don't really know. And um, I'm it's not detrimental for my life. All of the autistic traits that I think I have are the reason I've been as successful as I have, because that's what allows me to do two videos a day every day forever because it's what I do every day and I don't like not doing it. It's quite ha it's quite a handy thing when you're trying to build a YouTube channel. So it's kind of the opposite. It's my superpower. So it might be that they just won't diagnose me here. Hoax FM sneaking in, look. Sneaking in, not saying a word. Just sneaking in, making himself known. Just so we know he's here, so we can raid him later. I know he's game. Look, I'm here. I'm gonna start streaming in a minute, but here I am. I imagine that's not what's happening, but that's absolutely what I do. Or well, I used to anyway. I'm not organized enough to go and say hello to other streams before I start streaming these days. Da, 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 da. Right. Come on, we no! Oh, no, that we are Sheffield United. <laughs> I was like, no, he's going to Sheffield United. Hang on. We are Sheffield United. We've got our wang. Uh, Prieto is not leaving. I've come off the back of watching your content clinic. And I way behind it. It was great. Thank you very much. And I'm not actually streaming tonight. Whatever. Oh, wang. Wang, 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 wang. Oh, love it. So he's the third best central midfielder at the club. The fourth best right back. The fifth best centre back. The third best defensive midfielder the seventh best right midfielder and a third best central midfielder. So he's basically J uh, James Milner. It's James Milner's wang. That guy you raided yesterday was cool. Who did I raid yesterday? I don't remember who I raided yesterday. Oh, wang straight in to make his debut. Love it. That'll all do very nicely. Thank you very much. 
I go between two saves and question what the hell this team is? Yeah. Aussie. Okay. That's a bit early, but who's your early favourite for the Lelujo Cup? Arsenal. I think that Arsenal team is one of the best teams I've ever put together. <laughs> Sounds a quality nickname, that James Milner's wang. <laughs> yeah. Right, come on now, boys and girls. I really hope he becomes one of those goal-scoring midfielders who gets like 10, 15 goals a year from midfield and we can just constantly be... We'll have a wang emote and everything. It'll be brilliant. I want him to be a hero. Wang! Ooh. Anna's going to come in in a minute. Why are you yelling wang at the top of your voice? In the home episode today, the faces were the normal FM ones. Yes, they were. And in tomorrow's video, I notice and explain how I'm done messing around with that face pack now. And we're just going to go back to having normal faces. It's the born team in England that started born in the USA the final season of the FM20 save. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, we're going to get sacked, I think. And it's all your fault. I should go back to Clyde. I never should have left. This is why I don't like leaving mid-season. Because it never goes well. Ugh. Certainly not leaving to a team that look like they're all right. We can't lose again. Not against Beham. The media will never let me forget it if I lose against Beham again. It never goes well. Looks at Arsenal. Yeah, but that was different. Arsenal were struggling. Sheffield United weren't struggling. How did the transfer window go? We're still in it. I've barely spent any money so far. We joined too late. You better get any decent scouting done. And this is pitiful. I might get sacked before the end of the season. Which would be troublesome. When you get up to the second or third tier in the USA, will you try and get born players to sign on loan or sign the youth rejects? Yes, to both. I'll also be trying constantly to sign meet our Sarah Jackie all the time. Because obviously he's one of the best players in the world. Come on, Wang. We might need to make Wang the captain so that he can G us up. Did we just win a penalty? No, we didn't. Never mind. Oh, this isn't going very well. It isn't going very well. Where is Short? Why is he not even on the bench today? How has it come to this? It's all going wrong. I'm not going to play Livramento on the right wing. That just seems like a terrible idea. Attack! You're getting lots of questions about the Born UK team. Will you go into looking at them fully in an episode? No. We'll just occasionally check in on what they're up to. We looked at them briefly in today's episode, didn't we? I'm sure we did. At the end of today's episode, we had a look at them. And we'll check in every now and again. There's someone driving around outside my house tooting their horn in a very tooty manner. We did a football goal. In my Chelsea game, I sold Livramento to Man City for 50 million. My word. Which Premier League team was sacrificed? Fulham. I haven't managed to get to the end of today's episode. You're a disgrace. Come on, boys. An equaliser here would be lovely. 
an equalizer from Wang would be even lovelier. Well, I don't really care who scores it as long as we don't lose again. This has got to be a goal. That's got to be a penalty, surely. How? Do I just not get penalties anymore? That seems to be the new thing in FM. Kev doesn't get penalties anymore. It's hideous. Do, 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 do. You should connect the one armed swan song to channel points. <laughs> no. Well, we lose again. My only hope is that we're playing this poorly because we're all excited about playing Tottenham. Hydrate. I shall. Oh, look at this. This is a... That's a, a sun headline if ever I've seen one. Well, imagine this on the back page of a newspaper. Powell bemoans profligacy. Proper football talk there. Lads, lads, lads. Up the profligacy. It's had enough of him. We've not won a game since he's been here. And he's using fancy words. How we roll Owen, I think is what we say. Thank you very much. What? The board won't let me sack him. Oh, I might have to resign. Come on, boys. What are we going to do? Are we just going to blow some money now? Midfielders, please. Maybe it's time to forget about signing young players and throw a bit of cash around on the old men. 27-year-old pensioners. Dave, don't set on my headphones. You monster. There's no one any good. Uh, midfielders, please. Jack Jenkins. He'll do. Yeah, he looks 25. How much is he going to cost? 4.2 million. Bargain. We'll have him. Um, 4.2 million, please. Yeah, that'll do. We'll have him. We also want a defender. Who's the best one? Devin Wrench. Who is... Currently under offer by someone. Oh, he's valued at 27.5 million, but he is on the transfer list for 15 million. Do we really want to spend 15 million on him? We probably don't, but we could try and loan him. So let's try and get him in on loan. Maybe get this other guy. To come in. Oh, we can't I'm not spending tw twenty five million pounds on a player. Finley Brownlee. Uh, Reading. We know re defenders from Reading are always good. No, not left back. Can he play centre back? It's better than everyone else we've got, but he's still he's so expensive again. Urgh. Right, goalkeeper. I mean, none of them are really scouted at all or any good, which makes it a bit of a challenge. Right back. Dave, will you stop shaking? Oh, is he Brazilian? We'll have a bit of this. Oh, he's... No, just not good enough. Just not good enough. Oh, he's got the red hair, brown beard combo. That's always... Always fetching. Ugh. 
none of these guys are any good. Ben Smith. Oh, Wigan. A Wigan rubbish. Is this bringing someone in from a little club? It is. We'll do this, probably. Um... I need to scout him then, I suppose. Although, apparently we have scouted him already. But maybe not. We've done an analyst report on him. Right, that'll do for now. Right, you're not having any of this. You're just coming in to not be useless, please. Any keepers or defenders looking, knocking about on a free recommendation for trial? I don't want to bring in anyone for free. Do, do, do. What I could do, though, is see if there's anybody transfer listed that we've scouted. One arm swan. One arm huh. The orange one gorilla, arm thank you very much for the sub. Right, so Wrench is on the transfer list. I'm already in for him. Jolson Fernandez. Is transfer listed. Is he better than what we've got in these wide areas? Yes, so let's try and bring him in. I don't know if we're going to get him on installments, but we can certainly try. Yep, that'll do. We'll have a bit of that. Who else have we got? This is just, just throwing cash around now because we keep losing a lot. Brend Leaflang. He's a six foot two centre back. He's not good enough for us. Ugh, is this the end of anyone who was any good? Probably is. Signs sad poor Kev. No. Right. Get him in. Um, you're not having a salon thingy. That's crazy talk. Don't think we're getting him at all. And oh, we might do. He wants a lot of money though. Obviously thinks he's some kind of big shot. Um, yeah, we have got clauses to sell, but we've also still got loads of money, so we don't need to be looking at selling them yet. Upgrade the scouting package. The scouting package is fine, isn't it? Yeah, England is fine. I mean, I guess we could bump it up to there, but it, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference now. Is Delcroy good enough? I'm afraid not. Crystal Palace are in for my boy. My boy Wrench. That's no good. I don't want to miss out on all my players that I want. Right. <sighs> Maybe we do need more attackers. Forget, forget signing defenders. Just bring in more attacking players. Attacking players always make me happy. Um, we need to finish tickling his tummy. Come on, calm yourself down. You can do whatever you want. Just don't be grumpy about it. Is that fixed all the grumpy boys? Apart from him, he wants to move to a bigger club. Oh, check on Simmer. I have no idea who or what a Simmer is. And I have no desire to check on him. Who or what is a Simmer? Right. Benjamin Gary. See, I do think we can do better than him out wide. I'm inclined to take this. I actually don't think he's good enough for us. But I want his full value. Up front. 
So they're going to have to... You know what? We'll take that. I don't want him. What do you prefer doing? Managing lower league or top tier? I enjoy them both. Probably lower league. Lower league's a little bit more... I'm just standing up for a minute for the back. At least I didn't scream. That's how you know it's not too bad because I didn't scream. And look, you can see the sexy shorts are on again. Oh, yeah. Kev's sexy shorts. Um, yeah, managing in non-league is a little bit... A little bit more mechanical, I think. I have my systems that I know work. If I go into a non-league club, I'm fairly confident that I can just sign good players and I'll be fine. Whereas managing a little bit higher up, you're relying on your scouts more. And scouts are idiots. I've got to do a posture check while standing up. This is no good. Let's do some lunges. I can't do lunges. Ugh. Oh, my bones are all crunching and cracking. I need lockdown to be over. So I can get back to the gym. Don't break your back. What, by standing up? That'd be... That'd be poor, wouldn't it? Right. Microphone screwed back in. All is good. At your age, shut your face. Shut your face. My word. Right. Has anyone else appeared on our um, scout reports yet that's any good? Kyle Pritchard. Ugh. My scouts are rubbish. Although Zidkiger is a great name. I feel like the scouts think we're a Premier League side. And are recommending players that are so very expensive. Oh, hydrate as well. There you go. Some valuable hydration. Um... Just tick all these boxes. Right, this guy, this is our goalkeeper, isn't it? We probably need to keep him. We don't really have another one. So we can't sell him. Let's just have a look at the wide players. So if we go past him, because he's in there, on the right-hand side, I think we do need a couple of new wingers. We've got the one from Southampton, hopefully, coming in. And Angulo is pretty good on the left. Hmm. Central midfield and centre back are the key areas we need to strengthen. So who have we got coming in? Centre back, central midfield, right wing. If we can get the three of them, they're three good signings. Right. Here we go then. So, you. Fine doing that. See, why is he in the team? Where is Prieto? Injured. With a virus. That's not an injury, is it? Angulo's on international duty. These are very much our second tier attacking players. It's not ideal. Is Kevin Smith from Born in the USA the director of Jay and Silent Bob? Um, no, that's why he's called Kevin Smith, not that one. And Ashley just knocked me out of the Welsh Cup semi final. Nice. For our fellow football fans, Brandon Williams is streaming Warzone on Twitch with James Garner. I mean, what's this promoting other streams? And I've just read it out. Please go and watch someone else. Footballers should stay in their lane. I'm going to go and play for Manchester United. That would teach a pair of them. <laughs> oh, dear. Wang! Hold on. I'm going to do it one more time or Anna will kill me. Wang! Now, whenever he scores... Brilliant. My window's open. My neighbours must love me. <laughs> Huzzah! Surprised you knew who they played for. I had Brandon Williams at Posh this year. I know all about him. I guessed the other one would be his teammate. Oh, 
Oh, see, he's going to be our saviour. Saved by the Wang. <laughs> yeah, Anna's going to kill me. I can only hope she's napping. She's had the day off work today, so... She's kept a very unusual schedule today. She was in bed till lunchtime and then has been beavering around all day doing things. So I have no idea what her sleep plans are for this evening or tonight. If your neighbours don't accept your shouting of wang, they shouldn't have moved in exactly. I mean, you saw on Twitter, I tried my very best to put people off from living here. When they came to view the house, I was playing loud music. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? I forgot we were playing Spurs. Oh, so there's no point in even winning this one. What a waste of a wang. You probably watched the stream, so don't mind. I would imagine so. Oh, I've just heard a door. Anna's going to come and kill me. She's going to be on her way down. Why are you yelling wang? Just everyone pretend to be working. I, guess I might get a spreadsheet up. Um, what can we do? What can we do that looks like work? Ah, do something. Do something constructive, Kev. Word. Oh, 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 before she comes in, before she comes in, before she comes in. Oh. Oh. I am an adult. Doing adult. I can't type. Doing adult things. Not shouting wang. That must have been somebody else. Right, if she comes in, we're going to switch to that. And then she can't blame us. Easy. Ah, where were we? Genius. Absolute genius. I think it was just one of the upstairs doors, but I don't think she's come down. I think we're safe. I think we're safe, boys and girls. Come on, boys and girls. Then I see. Tottenham are all right, aren't they? They're making us look a little bit silly. Why do teams ask for crazy money? Because they like money. Time for a Microsoft Office stream. <laughs> People would love that. I used to, when I was teaching, there used to be a YouTube channel that I'd put in my lessons sometimes. It was like called Dr. XL or something. And he just made YouTube videos about different things you can do in spreadsheets. It was brilliant. Wait, he's a gazillionaire now. Problem is, if you open a spreadsheet, it looks too much like FM research. Yeah, that's why. I, she knows I use spreadsheets for Football Manager sometimes. So it's uh, that's why we went for a Word document in the end. Just tell her I'm writing a book. She doesn't need to know that we're that we're playing video games like rascals. Did I see the Microsoft hack? I haven't seen a Microsoft hack. Has there been a Microsoft hack? What's happened? Is my Xbox login still safe? That's all I really care about. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum. We could do with another wang here. Have I got the fan on? I have got the fan on. Can you hear the fan? Oh, that's never good. I'll turn the fan down a little bit. I always have the fan on. It's hot in here. I might have to stop with the jackets once we get to the summer. It's, it's so hot in this room. Oh dear, I've got a text message. Oh, I haven't. I haven't. It was something else. That's all right. <laughs> Lots of people can't hear the fan. Excellent. Well, I've turned it down a little bit anyway. What you might have been hearing before is a car going past. There was a, a low rumbling of a parked car outside, so it was probably that that you could hear rather than the fan. Um, let's get tall boy short on. But we need him up for corners. Um, I think it was Outlook mainly. It's so huge, they don't know how big. Nice. I don't use Outlook, so hopefully officially safe. Oh, Wang again. That's terrible from Wang. Terrible. 
Do, do, do. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, come on. Let's beat Spurs. It's always fun to beat Spurs. They get all grumpy. Grumpy, grumpy Tottenham, they call them. Oh. I see. Grumpy, grumpy Tottenham ruining my afternoon. Um, Hartlepool have just scored again. 2 2 between Hartlepool and Kingsley. We have a score update on the posh game. I'm assuming nothing has happened since the first goal went in because I've not had any updates through to my watch, I don't think. And you lot haven't told me about them. So I assume things are going well. Still 1 0. That'll do nicely. Do we get a live league table? I need to see a live league table. I could probably look myself. Do, 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 do. It's not an important game to Spurs, so they'll win. I guess. Right. League one, live league table. Love a live league table. There we have it. That'll do nicely. Link in the bottle jobs. Looking good. Looking good. Beanie Dixon, thank you very much for the sub. Sometimes I'm just not going to read out the more ridiculous things that are posted just to just to try and troll me with nonsense. So I'm not responding to that most recent comment about what wins are better than other wins because it's just an absurdly silly thing to say that nobody would actually believe. Um, right. 21-year-old centre-back that we can get relatively cheap. Yes, please. Yes, please very much. This is what you're talking about. Yeah, we'll have some of this. Keep scouting him. Let's go back to our original search of... 23 and under. Excellent. Hydrate. Is Siriki Dembele good? Yes. Heard he might be going to Rangers in the summer. Um, don't know. He's on the transfer list at his own request. Yeah, he's good. Definitely good enough to play in the SPL. Because he's good enough to play for Posh. Uh, oh, Kev. You rascal. What are you up to now? Foster check as well. There we go. Who do I think Charlton's new manager will be? Me! Would Posh win the SPL? Yes. The current Posh team would win the SPL. Absolutely. <laughs> Slender Zombie, thank you very much for the sub. Recruitment meeting. Hooray! Right. Do, do, do. Splendid. Um, Benjamin Harry's. You've got to stop asking for this player. I've already told you, and I'm not going to go and look at. We don't do going and finding players that people in the chat recommend because then it just turns into me looking at players that people in the chat recommend and not actually playing the game. And I'm never in a million years going to sign somebody without them coming up in my own scout reports. So I'd just give up. Just give up. And we're eight years in the future as well, so you have no idea if they're going to be any good now. Right. Gerard Alexander is a 19-year-old right midfielder. No, we're not selling him. That would be crazy talk. We're not selling him because he's our goalkeeper. Splendid. Can you manage Swindon in real life? If they know where to find me, as long as I can do it from home, then I'm up for it.
Bosch wouldn't finish top three in Scotland. You underestimate the league. I really don't think I do. <laughs> right, we're getting Jolson Fernandez. Do do. Bom, 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 bom. Right, that's a winger in. We needed a winger. You know Kev loves a winger. Ah, no, not confirm changes. Register him in the squad first, then confirm changes. There we go. Why is it showing me Wang again? So that's Fernandez, who actually looks like he's quite good. Excellent. Do we want to spend all that money on an 18 year old? Probably not. Northampton would get at least top three in the SVL. <laughs> Just finished watching the newborn episode. Anyway, we can get our hands on the custom database yet. Not yet. Soon, but not yet. If you want a US database in the meantime, the one FM Digi made that is on their Steam Workshop is pretty much what the born one is, just without born in it. Oh, we're not getting wrench. But we have got rid of Gary. That means how many centre backs were we were we looking at? So there's potentially another one coming in. Mm. We really need a good centre back. See, he is better than anyone we've got, but he's so expensive we can't justify bringing him in. And he's only five foot ten. Uh, um, Deadpool, your youth player is Matt Matt Short, isn't he? I mean, you'd have seen him playing in a minute. He's there. He's there. He's arrived. He's not started yet. Oh, we didn't get Jack Jenkins either. Oh, it's going to be one of these transfer windows, is it? I see. Um, have we got my director of football doing some shopping for me? Oh, he's already doing it. He's been a big help this window. Ah. Uh, well. We've still got so much money to spend and nobody to spend it on. Am I really going to throw money at this guy? He is not worth that amount of money. I'm not going to do it. We're going to have to wait. But then we need players now. We need a real top tier central midfielder. That's what we need more than anything. A central midfielder and a centre back. We need a good spine to the team. Twenty-two-year-olds from Colombia have got to be a good bet. He's out of contract. Oh, he's on loan from Burnley. Okay, so we can't we can't nick him. That's unfortunate. How about this guy, Joaquin Gotti? I'm just gonna have to wait for scout reports. Grr. Hmm. We just came we came in too late for this transfer window. Oh, we're gonna have to make do with what we've got. We, I mean we've made a couple of signings. We might still squeeze one or two in. It's not like we've not signed anybody. We've signed a striker, a left back, a midfielder, and a winger. And got rid of a winger that we didn't want. So it's not like we've done nothing. There you go, we're getting this guy.
I mean, he's not going to be brilliant straight away. He's not going to come in and turn our season around. But he's a decent signing. A winger and a wanger. <laughs> Try the Dream 11. Yeah, but the Dream 11, they're all going to be too expensive at this level. Should we just go and sign Ethan Delcroy and get him in midfield? Oh, that form is hideous. Yuck. Yuckers. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Ah, oh, who are you? You're a, goal You're a goalkeeper. We kind of wanted a goalkeeper. It's a very Portuguese name as well. Harry Morgan. That famous Portuguese name. We're going to sign him. Because I like the idea of him being Portuguese and called Harry Morgan. Do, 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 do. Joe Gellhart. Don't really need another striker. Don't really need another striker. This guy's a goalkeeper we could get for nothing. He's probably more of a sensible signing. But he's not got a silly name. So I guess we could try and bring him in for the summer as our backup. And then we could sell the other guy who people are interested in. Right, come on, Harry. Be good at football. You're not having any of this silly nonsense, you rascal. Right, what else have we got? It's just the same players every time I come here. Because we haven't done enough scouting. Arrgh! Arrgh! So frustrating. I might get come. Are we really going to spend £26 million on cum? Uh, who's the top guy? This guy would be brilliant, but they don't want to sell him. He looks like everything I've ever dreamt of, but we're not going to get him. Because they want a high fee. He'd be perfect practically perfect in every way but yeah ugh ugh Alan what's the name of your youth player and I'll have a look oh there you go someone said you're still on the waiting list so you don't have a player yet never never I don't want to spend that amount of money on the never never I just don't think anyone you're bringing in in the championship is worth 20 million pounds Sides, what's your um what's your youth player called? And I'll investigate. Ian Lloyd. Ian Lloyd. There he is at La Galaxy. Might as well scout him. Gets us over to America. Still don't really want to sell that goalkeeper, even though we're about to bring in another one. What point are we at on the waiting list? There's still names from December on there. The reason there'll be names from December on there is because those people haven't told me what type, kind of player they want. They need to tell me who they want and then I'll do it. I don't do them on stream anymore. So I need to know what position, what name, what nationality, and then I'll go and get you them between streams. Mm -hmm. 
I know I could buy that guy on installments, but installments isn't just a uh, oh he makes him cheaper. Installments is just a way of being able to buy more players in one go. Not I wouldn't ever use installments as a way to overpay for players that we can't get value for. See this guy I'm looking at and thinking yeah four million for him that feels all right he's english he's at liverpool we'll spend money on him we'll try and spend as little as possible and of course we'll use installments i'm not a madman but if we can get him for like three and a half that'd be super there we go Another one at Liverpool. Another midfielder at Liverpool. I think we're going to go for both of these. He's even cheaper. Get him for a million. Oh, okay. Unacceptable. Where's his agent? Well, I'll just pay you a flat million up front then. And you can quit whinging. It's nearly deadline day. Let's give him a player. Goodness sake. I think this is. Ryan Edmondson comes up all the time. In every save I ever do. See, these are all expensive. Thoughts about Scotland putting England out of the Euros. Doing what now? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, right, we don't want any minimum fee clause nonsense. <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to clarify what Finn Fowler is talking about. Is he has he had a is he had a special dream that he wants to tell us about? can only assume that's the circumstance where Scotland have knocked England out of anything. <laughs> Liverpool want more time. I want more players. My want should supersede their want. Ugh! Oh, this transfer window is making me miserable. I need something good to just appear. Right, Fernandez on that side is a winger. Beautiful. Okay, this all looks good. So Liam Harding is in for a debut as well. Watching while I do the washing up. Anyone doing anything less fun than that? Yeah, I'm doing this transfer window. That's less fun than doing the washing up. <laughs> Scotland have started calling up English players again, have they? League One or Championship this time? Because as a posh fan, I still remember how amused we all were when Craig McHale Smith played against Brazil for Scotland. We're losing again. We're losing again. We're losing and I can't find any players. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh. I want to go back to Clyde. Yeah, we can turn this ship around. Maybe. Oh, now my head hurts. Oh. I banged my head on my car boot earlier and now it hurts. Now it hurts. Hours later. Wang! You know what we need? The one I'm swan, the one I'm swan, the one I'm swan, the one I'm swan. 
That's what we need. I might go and bring him in anyway. Even though I've said we don't need him. Concussion serve, get Anna in. I'm pretty sure I'm not concussed. That might be why I'm so grumpy. It might not be the transfer window. That's the transfer window is going really well. <laughs> I've never been so miserable about having 30 plus million pounds to spend. I just can't spend it. In, I mean, in reality, they were mad to give me this job. I'd never had a full-time job before. I'd never spent money before. And they gave me all this money to spend with a month of scouting to do. Come on. Let's turn this ship around. Do, 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 do. I mean, look at this. Just, we're not very good. Actually, that's some quite decent defending. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> oh. Well. I genuinely think I might get sacked. From a seemingly unsackable, perfect, easy job. Might have to change the tactic. I need to sack the assistant manager. That's the problem. He, we were fine until he came in. <laughs> right, there you go. A new defender with a clearance. That's nice. Sheffield United are just rubbish, obviously. I should go and manage someone who's not rubbish. I mean, it is, I fit in perfectly in their Hall of Immortals. Looking at their transfer policy for the last however many years. Spending loads of money and still mid-table in the championship. At least we're giving the fans what they've been used to for the last seven years. Where would we go if we got sacked? Go and hide back in Scotland again. Oh, that's ridiculous. Helpless. Our players are so good. But they just aren't very good. But they are good, but they're not very good. Oh, no. Thrashing the arms. Right, get the big boy on. He's going to be an inside forward. He's going to be a winger. We go and attack him. We need to make sure we've got the big boy in position. Where is he? Where is he? What's he? Do? Why is he? What? Well, he's not the taker, though, is he? Ah, oh, this game. This game. Ah! Such a nightmare. Right, let's try it again. There he is. Okay. And where is he now? That's him. So get him in there. Right, we need a big performance from Short in this second half. He wants to be a complete forward on attack. Be a complete forward on attack then. That's fine with me. Eesh. Right, we're going to demand more. And we're going to drop this tactic after this game. And we're going to go and do one of the ones that my idiot assistant manager recommends. Just to try and change something. <laughs> At least we're not going to get relegated, maybe. We only had to finish mid-table. 
We probably are going to finish mid table. It's just we're being really poor at getting there. More! Put my crown on to make myself feel better. Remind myself I'm good at this game. <laughs> Short can't even head straight. Have I decided what the Builder Nation save will be in? Uh, yeah, it's in the USA. It started a couple of days ago. <sighs> 15 minutes ago, you were saying you could promote through the playoffs. Yeah, but then we kept losing. Uh, I don't like it. But we won the ball back. This has been one of the worst performances I've seen from a team of mine in FM21. I don't know how good West Brom are. It's nice to see you struggle. Refreshing. It's not nice. I don't like it. I've got to think. FM21 has pre pretty much been on autopilot so far. I'm actually going to have to think now. <laughs> oh... actually think I might get sacked in my first stream at a new club where I had 35 million to spend in the championship I'm not having a very nice time I think that's fair. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we conceded again while we were away. Cracking. Darren, you caused this problem. You deal with it. Well. Oh, good. We're hapless Sheffield United now. That's always a good sign. Fans criticise Chapman tactics. Well, the fans are morons. What do they know about anything? They're idiots. Right, we're going to do fluid counter-attack him. But not that, because that's pathetic. We're going to do that. At least it's a less pathetic version of it. Um, but we're going to set it up so it actually doesn't look like it's been created by a numpty. can't actually have it on cautious that cautious is pathetic maybe maybe even positive uh, we'll start unbalanced obviously we've got to play for set pieces okay to him the problem with this and the reason I'm almost certainly going to abandon it is him he just doesn't fit into it at all Foster check this none of this is very good can't bring myself to counter-attack. I've got standards. Maybe we can do this. This is one of my favourites this year. 
We've got the big man, little man up top now. But once again, it doesn't really get Prieto in the side. Prieto. Maybe we sell him and use the money to buy and have a giant. We got anyone who can actually play there. I can learn to click the right buttons. That would be nice. Ugh, not really. Not very well. Right, we're going to do this. But we're going to do it positively. Obviously, we're playing for set pieces. Right. So we would have short in like that. And then on this side, we're going to have that. And then you're going to be that. Ding, 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 ding. Right, we're going to go with something like that. And then... <clears throat> I have route one off like this. I mean, I'd rather just go to bed. <laughs> I'd rather stop playing than play pathetically. Uh. Right. So we've still got players coming in. Got what? A goalkeeper, a midfielder. We need an attacker. We need someone to come in and inspire excitement. well it's like he heard me describing him problem is 25 it's a bit different from signing a 19 year old Ricky Jade Jones mm, I'll keep scouting him right we're going to take the age restriction off it's not the time to be messing around with age restriction we want players who can come in and be great now for a reasonable price let's cash in all of this choose what you will like. i'm not going to pay any i'm not buying any yeah we'll receive some yeah we're all about receiving we're not giving any out we want maximum money possible. Right, we need to get rid of some deadwood as well. We're going to be, we're going to be brutal. We're going to do what we should have done at the start of this window before it's too late. It might, it might already be too late. And that is get rid of all the trash that we don't need at this club. So, let's have a look who's not playing, but he's taking valuable oxygen from this first team squad. Maybe not Matt Short. These are the new boys. These are okay. He's 19. He can get away with it. He's 26 and he's played twice. Get out of here, you pathetic. Did we just sign him? I don't think we did, did we? I'm just checking. I haven't just signed this guy. No, get out of here, you pathetic excuse for a footballer. You're done. Wang is great. Luke offered. Yeah, I'm offering him as well. Get out of here. Zhao Carvalho at 30. Get out of here. Get gone. 
Mora. Stri uh, see, he's all right. But this guy, at a thousand years old, just not good enough. Get out of here. You, at 28, get out of here. <laughs> you. Get gone. You're already going. And you don't want to be here, so you can get out of here as well. Get rid of them! Osh of one. Hooray! Right. Now we just start buying. So, we don't want them really old. See, that's the thing. I can't bring myself to buy 30-year-olds for £10 million in the championship. 26-year-olds, though. Entirely different proposition. How much is he going to cost me? Oh, most of our money. Maybe not. I've got to lose that. I've got to lose that attitude, don't I? That's a loser's attitude I've got there. If we want him, we'll get him. Who have we got as a backup striker? Why not transfer list? Because we might get more money from him by him not being on the transfer list. We'll transfer list them in a minute. If they don't go straight away. So we've offered him out. Probably don't need that other guy. I don't think we need a striker. Certainly not for £20 million. Pounds. Can't afford him. You're a right back or a left back, Johnson? You're a right back, but you're 28. Do we need you? Not really. Morgan we're already trying to bring in. Right, is he an actual centre midfield player? Not so much. How good would he be in centre midfield? Hmm. Not disastrous. How much is he? 12 and a half million. I want him in there pulling the strings in centre midfield in that role. He looks all right, doesn't he? We'll have a bit of this. Yikes! Has he got a release clause at 12 and a half? Why did it say 12 and a half? Yeah, maybe we're not getting him then. Um, uh. Right. Centre backs. Don't mess with me anymore. We're, just, we're, we're buying now. It's time to purchase. So. You are better than what we've got. You are so very expensive. But we keep looking at you. I can't. This guy is another one that we keep looking at and deciding we don't want. We're just going to go up. Oh, he's, he's just as expensive, right? Just let's show him in business. Doesn't even get. We've offered 25 million and it's not enough. Ah! Oh, my word. Centre backs available for loan. I guess that's actually something we can ask the director of football for. Who can we maybe get on loan? Adam Devine. Adam Devine is a Lelujo legend. We'll have Adam Devine, for sure. Um, and then midfield, loans. Is 
Cardi. Box to box midfielders always make me happy. Let's get those two scouted. Hur! Jao Carvalho, get out of here. You're done. You're done. <laughs> you no longer feel forced out of the club. Oh, sorry, do you misunderstand? You're now on the transfer list. Idiot. Right, Divine would apparently be a fringe player, so before we confirm anything, we're going to need to actually scout him. But if he's as good as he was in the posh save, he was player of the year in our promotion season with posh in the championship. Tavernier for that price can definitely go. Don't need him. 18.75 million for him. Yeah, we'll take that. How are the transfers going? Terribly. Carvalho. Just want rid of him. He's 30. Get a shot of him. Oh, fine. Need more money for him, apparently. Right, what am I looking at here and why? Clear everything. Get back in here and try again. So. Jake Clark Salter. Am I really going to spend all this money on a 30-year-old? He's better than what we've got. Should we just buy him permanently? If we could get him for 15 million. Can we not make an offer anymore? Did they loan him with a future fee? They did. That's annoying. We are running out of time. We've got like two days left before the window slams shut. All I'm going to do is get rid of half the squad and not replace them. Why can't we get him? Inquiry. Uh, why are we selling Prieto for 18 million to get him out of the way? He's a disruptive moron. Get him out of here. Should we get Joe Thromez in? going to be getting in the goalkeeper the defender is not good enough and the midfielder is not good enough hmm. <laughs> why are all the players we've got scouted so rubbish Should we sign prince henry defenders We're going to get come. We were looking at him earlier on in the window. Now's the time. It's, no, it's not looking time anymore. Now it's purchasing time. Right. We'll just meet his release clause. We're getting all this money coming in from these disruptive morons who don't want to be here. Rio Devonshire. He's not good enough for now, is he? That's the problem. So we can't get wrench. We're only looking at defenders here. We are, aren't we? Let's look at midfielders as well then. So Doherty's the best one, rec recommendation-wise. And he's one who hopefully is already coming in, but he's not quite first team superstar ready. Strikers could always use a striker. Prince Henry's the man, apparently. I'm not bringing in Prince Henry. Ah! I can't 
Carlos Rift sounds fast. He does. He does indeed. Neil Hughes. Talk to me about Neil Hughes. 22 years old. He's quick. He's a good finisher. He'd be the sixth best striker at the club. That's worth £10 million. He doesn't get in Reading's team. <laughs> Robert Bishop. We've already got one target, man. Are we going to bring in another one? don't really need a striker. Did we look at midfielders? I think we probably did, didn't we? Oh, what have we got here? Lasse Sorensen. He's rubbish. This is the problem. Our scouting has been trash. Really, really poor. team feels like a mix between Premier League and League One. I know, that's the problem. It's a ridiculous squad that we've got. The scouts are terrible. This team needs a Kev Summer. Exactly. I need to try and do as little damage as possible now to keep us mid-table and then take my time over a summer and we'll fix them in the summer. It's just we've got to survive now. See, this guy comes up a lot. What a name he's got. Sonny Low Everton. But he's not really a central midfielder, which is what I'd like. Ugh. I'm just pressing continue again in the hope that if we get a scout report in. Someone awesome. Right, come. Let's have him. He could be the difference maker. You never know. Wouldn't it be wonderful if he was? Right. Hopefully we're getting come. Problem is, we might not have time to get him a work permit now because we've left it so late. No offers for these morons. Right. Offer him out again. Transfer listed. Another moron. Transfer listed. Another moron. Transfer listed. And another moron. Transfer listed. Get gone, you bunch of idiots sick of the sight here if you'd have maybe won a football match at any point in the last eight games then i wouldn't be so harsh on you but you're idiots you know you're idiots get out of my football club don't ever come back i'm either going to do something drastic and we're going to survive or i'm going to ruin this club before i get sacked there's no in between the two options So we should probably offer him a bit more money. What? Well, that's balls that one up. We're not getting him. <laughs> because I don't want you here, Augustine. That's why. Figure it out. Never seen this level of panic. It's never been one day before deadline and I haven't won a game forever before. Look at the state of it. What 
time I streaming until probably like three more minutes before I just turn the game off in a grumpy. Right, he looks good. We'll have him. Six million bargain. We'll have a bit of this. Not sure if we need him. Don't really know what system we're going to play yet. But you can never have too many right backs, can you? <laughs> oh, God. I'm having such a lovely evening. How's your evening going? Are you having as much fun as I am? Bet you're not. Guarantee you're not having as much fun as I am. Just keep smiling, Kev. They won't see the tears. Ugh. Right, he looks good. Mainly, ba I'm basing that entirely on his name. But Watford want him. Worth five million. Yes, please. Yes, please. We'll have him. Yep, that will do nicely. We'll have him. Um, I might go for Prince Henry. But if I'm going for Prince Henry, I might as well go for the one-armed swan. You need to send this to Zealand for one of his Save Your Save videos. No, because Zealand doesn't know what to do. Zealand asks me for help. <laughs> right. Sometimes you just have to have a dramatic rebuild. There doesn't have to be logic to it, but we need to play a drastically different system and just make this... The problem we've got here is that this isn't my team and I've not won the dressing room over because I came as a part-timer with a low reputation and we haven't started winning games immediately. So the players don't believe in me. So the trick is, in theory, get rid of all the players who don't believe in me and bring in a bunch of players who do believe in me because they signed for me. That's the thinking. <laughs> right, deadline day today, which means any non-UK players are probably going to be problematic at this point because we're not going to get work permits for them. to check shall we hold on this player was transfer listed on the 1st of July 1900 <laughs> okay Just to sit on the bench. How's every transfer leaking? Because I have no control over this football club. It's a poison chalice. Oh, and I've got to keep these numbskulls around. I'm not going to get rid of them now. Right, we've got our new goalkeeper. What? Who's he? Don't even know who he is. Well, I guess we're keeping the wonder kid. Does he look Spanish to you? Yes. Yes, he does. Don't know if we can really afford everyone else now. Did we scout Adam Devine? Who the hell is he? Oh, he's the backup goalkeeper, isn't he? I don't want Divine anymore. Um, if you pay all of his wages, you can have him. Okay. 
Right, we have a goalkeeper. Hooray. <laughs> I love the fact that a guy called Harry Morgan now needs an intensive language course. Despite the fact he's got English as his second nationality, because he's clearly very Portuguese with a name like that. Does he look Portuguese to you? Yes, he does. Right, he looks actually like quite a decent signing. Lots of potential. Like that. Don't know if he's the man for a relegation fight. Another one. We're signing some good young players. It's just whether or not they're going to be good immediately. Can we buy this guy now? We shall then, because then we can get rid of the other goalkeeper who didn't want to be here. Who we got like a £6 million offer for. Can we now get that £6 million for him, do you reckon? Just bring some more cash in. Maybe. Right, are we getting calm or what? I don't know if we've got time before this window closes. So we're waiting for his work permit. We're waiting for work permits for both of those two. Okay. This might actually turn out okay. If we get if those guys both get work permits, this might actually be okay. Chat believes. Thank you for the bits. Um, just leave, Lazar. You're on the transfer list now. Get out of here. Race against <laughs> Yeah. Is this one of the guys we wanted rid of? No. See, even something like that, bringing in a guy who believes in me, that might be a difference maker. Right, we've got him. Awesome. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There you go. This is a deadline. Oh, sugar. This is a deadline day here, boys and girls. This is a deadline day. We're doing Kev business on deadline day. Because this is how we roll. Is the one I'm swan actually registered in this squad? Oh, he's under 21 still. How? 22. How is he under 21? I'm not going to question it. Right, who is judging these players here? Darren Ward. F off. Why are you doing this? Get him out of here. It's no different, really. Comes our fifth best right back. It's fine. Uh, yeah, we want rid of him. Accept all offers. Get him out of here. Have we still got money? We've still got a little bit of money. And potentially players leaving. So, keep buying. Is the way forward. If in doubt, throw money about. It's the Chapman system. Right, we're going to be doing this, I think. So what do we need? We still kind of need a central midfielder. Thank you for the bits. Should we go for this guy? Let's go for that guy. Because he's got lots of potential. Might as well throw money about. Joe Hugill. If we're playing two up top, we probably need another striker. No, not make inquiry. Not make inquiry. Actually, actually buy the man. Buy him. Purchase him. 
The Sheffield United fans at this point either think I'm a genius or a moron. And none of us know which one I'll end up being. I love... The, I, Mike, I love the fact you've turned up like two hours into the stream and you're speaking so much logic for someone who hadn't seen how all the matches have gone. <laughs> Um, disregard everything you think you know. The matches are what matters, and the matches have been a disastrous, a disastrous this, this. Right, get him in. Get them all in. Get them all in. Du, 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 du. Who the hell's Ross Grayson? Get out of my club now, you tool. Oh, we couldn't get rid of Carvalho. Rubbish. We can get rid of him, though. You were rubbish because you were the goalkeeper who kept letting us lose football matches. If in doubt, sack all staff. Exactly. There's lots of things to do when in doubt. Right, we've got £8 million to spend still. We've certainly spent some money. All of these have been January signings. <laughs> I've signed out. How many players is this? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. I've signed 12 players already. <laughs> More! Signed 12 players, and I'm still not happy that I've signed that many first team players. This has been probably the worst transfer window I've ever done. If it works, it works. How much on deadline day? So deadline day, there's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven signings so far for 30 million-ish. Right, another one coming in. Another one going out. I mean, we're getting talked about on Sky Sports News. If nothing else... This is helping my reputation. People have now heard of me. <laughs> oh, God. What is happening here? And is any part of it a good idea? Probably not. He's been granted a work permit. Hooray, get him in. And another one. And another one. And another one. Carvalho, get out of here. All right, have we got any more money? Chapman's just lost his mind and signs every player he could think of. Look. If I'm going out, I'm going out my way. Come on, there must be some more. We've got we've got money. If it works, I'm a genius. Imagine if we win our next game. After all this, and after that form, imagine if we do this and win our next game. It'll be spectacular. <laughs> Right, what else? I want more. I don't want old men, that's the problem. Old men stink the place up with their oldness. No one wants the stink of old men around our club. Dylan Dell. We've already signed two left backs this January. We probably don't need a third. I 
think we might be done. The last thing to do, I guess, at 3.15, is just see if my genius of the director of football has got anything more for me. Anyone who'd like to recommend at the 11th hour that we can spend some cash on. Oh, imagine if we, if I'm saved by the one arm swan. One arm swan, the one arm swan, the one arm swan, the one arm swan. I still kind of want this guy. We still can't at all afford him. I don't really know why he keeps getting recommended when we absolutely can't afford him. It's just a smidgen frustrating. Should we just try? He's constantly getting recommended for a reason, surely. Didn't we already offer 25 million for him before? I think we did. James Baxter. I think we already looked at him. Didn't we already sign a right back? Oh, we already had Livramento. That's why we didn't need him. Because Livramento is top tier. Hmm. I think we might be dumb. I mean, they won't accept that, though, Joe. That's what you got to remember, Joe. Joe! He's gone. Right, we do need to go to the clip and climb. Where's the clip and climb? Where are we? What, what day is it? Deadline day. That's what day it is. Team bonding. That's what we need. Team bonding, community outreach, and a good old-fashioned match review. Get him out now. Don't want these idiots around my club. If they don't want to be here, get them gone. Oh, the deadline's passed. We're spending some money on wages, that's for sure. 14 players and a 60 million spend. I won the transfer window. Hey! That's all we wanted to do. Transfer window champions. Beautiful. Nothing any good to show for. How many of those players we brought in are now the best player in their position at the club? Nope. 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 Hey, because we sold the only one that was any good. We've slightly improved the goalkeeper situation and we've got some cracking backup players now. That only costs £60 million. That's Sheffield United transfers right there. Right, apparently Hugo can't get in the squad. Oh, there you go. He is in the squad now. Does come not need to be in? No, we're good. Okay. Cool beans. Was the objective to make the team better or worse? The objective was to make the team different. I didn't like the players who were here before. They weren't winning football matches for me. I just wanted different players. Not better or worse, just different players. Oh, we're getting rid of this guy. Cool. Get out of here. You get out of here as well. There you go. Made some money back as well. Stunning stuff. Hmm. I might bin this off. And we're going to do a Gagan press, but a 424. Similar to what we do with home.
where we're going to have our complete forward and then but we're going to have him on support and then we're going to have attacking inside forward and then we're going to do this and then he's going to be a wing back obviously because i'm not a caveman then we'll have him covering. He's going to be a sweeper keeper on defend. We're going to play for set pieces. And we're going to set up a sexy corner routine that involves smacking that near post right between the eyes. like this um, you there you there you there and that is going to be our primary tactic brace yourselves boys and girls brace yourselves we want counter-attacking football said nobody ever counter-attacking football goodness me got some paint you can watch dry if you want <sighs> come on we can turn this ship around get out of here Carvalho no one wants you here parking the bus is not sexy in any way shape or form we want hoofball um, who's this guy? Don't know who this guy is. Don't care. Get out of here, you. Just how bad is being sat for my reputation? For my reputation, probably not very bad at all because this is my first full time job. <laughs> da, 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 da. The board really do need to just let me take these offers for this guy. Who are we playing anyway? Portsmouth. Easy. Easy. What's the league table looking like? Like that. Not too disastrous, really. We've only got to finish mid-table. If we win like three games on the bounce, we'll be fine. So, fingers crossed that's what we end up doing. Imagine if we win. Now bet against you, enjoy your victory. Nice. Clyde's Fatty Patterson's been ruled out for three somethings. Not Fatty Patterson. Oh, it's all going wrong. And poor old Clyde, in amongst all this, have lost their star player and top goal scorer. With all these shenanigans going on, I've probably ruined their season as well. Luckily, they are still top. The one-armed swan, still top scorer. And finally earning the salary he deserves. He's been a fantastic servant. And a fantastic song. The one-armed swan, the one-armed swan, the one-armed swan, the one-armed swan. Exactly. Number 50, the one-armed swan. Right. Come on now. <sighs> this is tense. The nerves I'm feeling now. True football manager efficiency, wrecking two clubs for the price of one. Exactly. I gave them money. They love money up there. Right. This is our moment. You, we need you to start playing good football. 
because this is not good enough. Gave them English money. They hate that. Ah, it spends the same way, surely. Or is English money up there treated the same way as Scottish money down here? Where if you try and pay for it in the spa, they'll say, no, we need real money. It is real money. Real money. <coughs> right, Wang at the back. Oh, we've got, <laughs> we've got Wang and Cum together at centre back. Oh, this might be my favourite thing that's ever happened. Right, this is a good... This is a good team. This is a really good team. know what we need what we really need mentoring groups that'll fix the problem ball playing center backs they're not <laughs> they should be ball playing center backs i actually took that comment at face value for a second there then i realized what you did with your dirty penis jokes your filth bag right where's the one arm swam It's the one I'm swan, the one I'm swan, the one I'm swan, the one I'm swan. Right, here we go then. Five changes, lots of debuts, a new system. Portsmouth aren't going to know what's hit them. Let's show the world what this football team is all about, shall we? Double fist pump. This is our moment. Right, let's pump fists again. I have faith in you. Fist those pumps. That's right. Fist those pumps. Oh. So, fists are flying. There we go. This can't go wrong. Which ones are we? Are we the blue ones or the other ones? I don't remember any of our players' names. This is the first highlight, isn't it? This isn't, this isn't what we really wanted to see. Come on now. Do a football. Hey. He did a save. I want long throws. That's what it's all gone wrong. Long throws have been gone a day and I'm nearly sacked. Oh, that's terrible. Oh god. Was it disallowed? Hooray! I mean it was terrible defensive positioning. But it's disallowed. Hurrah! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One of the new boys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. What are you, are you looking? Come on now. Oh, look at this. <gasps> My back really hurts. Tall short Matt did it. He did a football. Amazing stuff. That's what happens. You have a six foot six monster up front. <laughs> We're going up as bleeping champions. <laughs> Never have I related to celebrating and realizing. Oh no, my back. <laughs> yeah, that really hurt. Oh, it's all coming together. I'm a footballing genius. Imagine this this stream will be I might be able to do one of those um Oh my word. This this stream, when I do the stream replay of this, I'm gonna sell it as one of those non non-fungible token things, an NFT. If anyone wants to invest in this stream's NFT, this is the football manager masterclass, the day Kev showed you how football manager was done. None of this thinking about tactics or picking players properly just signed every random herbert who you can get to come in try and sell everyone who you don't like play a random tactic oh, oh! 
happy now. <laughs> Easy. I remember Pompey probably trained all week for my old squad. That's a good point. <laughs> they, they had the they had the old squad uh, scouted, and we turn up with sixteen new players, nine of which turned up on deadline day. Oh, tall, short, Matt, <laughs> go for it! Look at him run. That's six foot six of him moving at that pace. That's terrifying. Oh, it's all going beautifully now. The starting eleven is mostly old players. No, there's a lot of it. new players in this. Morgan, Cum, Wang, Sa, Doherty, Jolson, Short. They're all new signings in the last couple of weeks. Please don't mess it up for me. They've got a player called Lasagna. I want him. Oh, look at that. Beautiful tackling. Get your footballs in. I need to get the one-armed swan on. Oh, God. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Oh. Uh... <laughs> it's fine. Don't panic yet. Uh, why are they suddenly good? This was supposed to be a masterclass. It's all setting itself up for a, a late one arm swan winner. That's what's happening here. Have faith i have no faith i've watched the last eight games i know just how easily we can throw this away hydrated i've seen it happen too many times posture check he's up right oh mr wonder kid don't sell the wonder kid he's so great 6.1 pathetic get him off ridiculous idiot right what else have we got in this bench? Oh, Villa, Villa Fanny. One of the... Oh, we've got a player called Fanny. Villa Fanny is going to be... We could have Wang and Fanny in the same midfield. Um, Right. Encourage. Do we encourage? No, we're not going to encourage. I'm saving my final substitution for the one arm swan. Might not need him though. Yes! <laughs> See, this is how you play football manager. Just sign everybody based on having a funny name. Right. Kev, I'm a mature professional. <laughs> yeah. Who's this then? I oh, imagine. Please, I want to play the song. I thought I'd never play the song again. This is this is for oh, the one arms. What's the one arm swan doing in there? That should be that should be tall short Matt who's in there. <gasps> He was aiming for the one-armed swan. Oh, I bet when he signed for Flanetti five years ago, he never thought he'd be playing in the championship, earning five and a half grand a week. All because he broke his arm. He broke his arm and it gave him superpowers. Come on, boys. It's the one-armed swan. It's the one-armed swan. <laughs> The one I'm swan, 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 the one I'm swan. 
the one I'm swan, 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 the one I'm swan. What have we just witnessed? Oh, my back hurts. <laughs> I'll never. never. Whoa, why is Sheepdog's face there? I'll never not love this man. Popping and to give you money. We'll be back later tonight, too. Thanks, Alfie. Always appreciate money. Oh, the one I'm swan, the one I'm swan, the one I'm swan, the one I'm swan. Chapman looks back to strive forward. What? Reverted to a four. To when have I used that before? Well, Kev's a genius. <laughs> oh, what a man. 11th best striker at the club, my eye. He can't not score. Beautiful. Do, do, do. Now we're having some cut. My back really hurts now, but it was worth every second of it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Kevin Chapman thought this was the turning point of the season. It was not. It is the turning point. This is it now. We're going up as champions. I'm so happy. What's the one Armstrong's name in real life? The one I'm swam. He changed it. Oh, fantastic. Sorry I hurt you back. So you should be. <laughs> oh, the one armed swan. What's why would I make nine changes? I think I'm some kind of madman. Dun, dun, dun. Well, just some calm music and some chill out time oh imagine if we can win again it would be great to score back to back victories do I look exactly Scotty do I look Spanish to you no I do not Poof. oh my heart's thumping after that and we've still got 16 million pounds to spend before the end of the season because we've got another 32 million coming in the summer and we'll even if we don't spend the 16 we'll still only get 32 for next for the summer unless they fix that silly glitch so we need to spend the 16 or we lose it effectively right let's shuffle all of these where's come Where is he? Why have we dropped come? <laughs> I don't understand. There must be some logic. I just don't know what that logic is. I guess tiredness. I love the fact Quick Pick's now got one arm swan as primary attacking substitute as well. Is this. Have I pressed the right button here? I mean, I'm not going to argue. We'll go with it. The one arm swan's on the bench. That's the important thing. <sighs> Got to keep everybody fit. Do, 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 do. 
Right, pump the fists again. Oh, we can't pump the fists. We'll outstretch the arms then. And once again, we're going to pump the fists. It worked so effectively in the last game. They love it. Right, come on. A win here and I can go to bed a happy man. Because a win here puts us right back into that mid-table mix where we're supposed to be this season. Right, before that though, I just need to check that we are aiming the set pieces at short. Yes, we are. That's all right then. Because the one-armed swan was lurking for that corner in the last game and I was confused. Look at that from Morgan. Our Portuguese superstar, dominant in the air. Talking of dominant in the air, short with a flick on. Oh my word. I love it when a plan comes together. That's some lovely football as well. <laughs> 40 points. Crucial. No relegation for us. Oh! Oh, Gordon Bennett. Short is going to be very, very handy playing the Danny Pritchard role for us. This is basically exactly my home team now just with different players plugged in there's short again tall short matt wang getting further forward having a lovely evening I feel like I've gone through a I've run the gamut of emotions this evening I've never been closer to just abandoning abandoning a stream in a soul because I was about an hour ago and now I'm on top of the world Shefu 2 Luton 1 I don't want to see their stupid replays replays are for losers Pump the fists, pump the fists, pump the fists. Just keep pumping. Pump all the fists. Um, Dennis, thank you very much for the sub. Very kind of you. What season are we in? This is season eight. We started at Lanetley. We were there for about four or five years. We did a little while at Clyde as well. We've been around a bit. Oh, oh, he's in again. It's a, what a wonderful world we live in. What a wonderful, wonderful world we live in. Oh, beautiful. Short is going to be... I mean, getting short into the side is so important. He's brilliant. Everything goes through him. Oh, Nati's injured. This is where it would have been nice to have come to come on. Just needed that climbing trip. Exactly. A little go on the clip and climb and we're sorted. Right, one of our other new boys who's slipped under the radar so far, but we spent £10 million on this guy. He can dribble, that's for sure. Look at him. He's gone more, he's coming all the way back again. Shorts won a penalty. Oh, this is beautiful. Matt Short is my new hero. It's four. Absolutely. Phenomenal. Oh. Right, where is he? He's got his hat trick, so we can now get the one-armed swan on. And for my final trick, we'll rest that fella out on the wing whose name I can't say. Not many fans in, considering 
everything's turning around and becoming awesome now. Oh, Gordon Bennett. This allowed, don't worry. Come on, boys. Short and Wang were both in there for that one. As was the one-armed swan. Oh, look at this control. We're, a we're playing with pomp all of a sudden. This is beautiful. We're a good team. I knew we were a good team. I knew it. I knew we were a good team. We just needed 16 new players. That's all it was. I told you we were a good side. Who says you can't sign 10 players on deadline day? You ruin your dynamics, Kev. I'll ruin your dynamics. What are we doing here? Beautiful stuff. Let's drop a little bit of praise. It's going very well. Oh. Go on, one arm swan. Not quite. <laughs> I'm glad I kept the Wonder Kid as well. I'm a genius for deliberately keeping him. Dynamics are for losers. Exactly. This this group of players must believe in the Kev system by now. I'm much happier being 5-2 up than, than I would be at 2-0. It was pathetic before when we weren't smashing teams. Now this is glorious. Come on, let's have a one-armed swan goal to finish off the evening. That would make me very happy. Here it comes. The one-armed swan to make it six. It's going the wrong way. Go the wrong way. Give it to the one-armed swan. Oh my word. Tell you what, Morgan's got a finger onto that. Just the one just the one finger. And it's made all the difference. And now it's no. Come on, give it to the one-armed swan. Sorry, did I ignore a hydrate? The can's pretty much empty anyway, but a little bit of the spit. I basically just ingesting my own leftover fluids there well we've turned this ship around boys and girls even though we've conceded three goals against the team at the bottom of the league we're going to ignore those little details it doesn't matter if we're conceding three if we're scoring five the important thing is the victory and i think we're probably going to win this one now Oh, to the one-armed swan. No. I really want him to score. I don't want that one goal to be it for his Sheffield United career. He's in again. He's in again. Oh. Oh. I love that man. I thought, I thought that had shorts goal written all over it. Here you go. Number six. No. Come on. One more corner. With our six foot six, five foot one player. You can see him lurking at that near post, ready for action. Just aim for the big lad. It's all you've got to do. Aim for your big... Oh, we did aim for the big lad, but he's not very good at heading. Well, there you go. Back-to-back -back victories after that transfer window, after that transfer deadline. You thought you knew about Football Manager before this stream? I'd like to think... <laughs> I'd like to think I've just shown you that you know nothing about Football Manager. This is how your football manager, boys and girls. Oh, oh, oh. someone get... Who, who was it who said before, do you need to get Zealand to save your season? He wouldn't have done it this way, would he? This is how you save a season. Zealand, my eye. Right, where's... Um, my back's killing me now, by the way. Let's find somebody to raid, because I need to go to bed. Dave has a party. Oh, let's go and... Everyone go and tell Dave what I've been up to. Raid, Dave has a party. He'll love to hear about what the shenanigans we've just had in here. Go and tell Dave as a party all about it. I'll be back here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Thank you for watching, boys and girls. We're going up as bleeping champions.
Incidentally, I'll put her. If you be like, I'll take 